a rivalry that features speed, power, and grace. Three of the finest gymnasts in the world test their limits in Stuttgart. Romania, Daniela Silibas. Svetlana Boganskaya of the Soviet Union. And Brandy Johnson of the United States. Today, the three collide at the World Gymnastics Championships. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. It's beautiful! He made it! Triple nut. You've just seen something that has never happened in world competition before. Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! The thrill of victory. And down the stretch they come! Here's the finish of the Preakness! Sunday silence and easy goer! Photo finish! Nose is apart! And the agony of defeat. Look at him! Look at him go! Oh, baby! What a terrible fall! The human drama of athletic competition. Fly ball, deep left field, McGrath is there, it's over! Trumbo wins it! In our 30th year, this is ABC's Wide World of Sports. It was in a setting like this that the poet Robert Frost once wrote, The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Today, amidst the rural beauty of Southwest Germany, promises will be kept and dreams fulfilled as the world's finest gymnasts get together. Welcome to Stuttgart, West Germany and the World Gymnastics Championships. Today, the Women's Individual Apparatus Finals. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Adderley along with Kathy Rigby-McCoy. Kathy, a galaxy of stars assembled here. People like Romania's Daniela Silovas and Svetlana Boganskaya of the Soviet Union. But the American women, very well represented here also. Well, they have performed exceptionally well. And considering over the past 18 years, there has only been four world championship medals for the U.S. women. The fact that there are three Americans in the finals today gives them a chance to add even more and continue to establish themselves as world powers in women's gymnastics. Now, after a shaky start, in the preliminary competition, Brandy Johnson has recaptured the confidence that made her unbeatable this last year and has given her a very realistic chance of meddling on the vault today. Well, also working with us, the newest member of ABC Sports Broadcasting Team, Olympic champion Bart Connor. And Bart, a new set of rules being employed here at these World Championships. And the new rules are making for a very exciting competition. Under the new rules, no scores carry over from the preliminary rounds, which means no matter how good a gymnast was in qualifying, they have to be brilliant today if they're going to win. The difference between the winners and losers, it's going to come down to thousands of a point. Well, I think it's also interesting to note that of the 12 medals awarded in the four individual events at the Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea, the Soviets and Romanians won 10 of those medals. The top eight qualifiers from the team competition, two per country, will compete in the uneven bars, vault, beam, and floor exercise. First up from the USA, 17-year-old Sandy Woolsey, who is a solid eighth in the all-around competition. And Sandy has performed very well. It's a huge step to make it to the finals. And whether or not Sandy wins a medal, the confidence to know that you are in the same class with the rest of the world is a great big boost. Sandy told us earlier that she aspires one day to be an astronaut. Well, she's coached by Stormy Eaton, whose attitude in the gym is to have as much fun uh, as you can while working hard. And Sandy attributes much of her success to that attitude. Double back, there's work to be done, but great spirit for the future. This is the best part of the exercise. After the reverse hack, she does a transition to the lower bar. Notice she'll hop back to a handstand. This is an exceptional combination as she does a free hip with a half turn back to the high bar. Very good transition. And Sandy, who finished eighth in the all-around competition, waiting for a score. There it is, 9.8. This is 17-year-old Fan Di from China. The Chinese have been very impressive here. In fact, have made dramatic improvements since the Olympics. Now, if Fan Di hits this routine, she will be very tough to beat. Watch this. It's called a Jaeger and one of the highest relief moves I have ever seen. As Bart said in the beginning, you have to show the extra difficulty and you have to do it with great flair. 
she swings with complete certainty and freedom. And she takes it right to the edge. And Kathy, in addition to the outrageous release moves, notice the perfect form on this tuck double back. Her knees are locked together. That's the way you do it. Well, two years ago, when she was just 15 years old, Fondi finished 20th in the all-around competition at the World Championships. She's a rising star, and look at this. A perfect 10 for Fondi of China. And that's going to be a fairly tough act for 17-year-old Christy Henrich of the United States to follow. That Christy is even competing at these World Championships is an amazing story. Last April, she fractured a vertebra in her neck in a practice session. But she came back to compete in the U.S. Championships. She finished second to Brandy Johnson. And earlier, Christy told us how the ordeal helped to make her a much better gymnast. I think that it's made me tougher. You know, maybe some people it might make weaker, but if I can get through those low times, then it just makes me that much more ready to go. I'm just tougher. 4'11", 93 pounds, Christy Hendrich. She is tough as nails. And her coach, Al Fong, calls her E.T. for extra tough. Now, her style on the uneven bars differs from Fondi. She tends to move a little sharper, quicker, in spurts. She pops from one bar to the other, and obviously, she's very clean. Strong, good pirouette on top of the bar. Excellent routine. Christy finished ninth at the Olympic trials, just missing a spot on the U.S. team. But it is very apparent that she is a much improved gymnast. And there's Al Fong, her coach, to congratulate her. She's very aggressive on the bars. And you can see in this combination, she has a giant to a full turn, right to a double back. The judges award her bonus points for doing these moves back to back. And I think Christy's going to like what she sees, 9.95. That puts her into second place behind Fondi of China. ABC's Wide World of Sports continues with the Women's World Gymnastics Championships. The individual apparatus is the uneven bars. This is Olga Strasheva of the Soviet Union, a bronze medalist in the all-around competition. And she really has the most difficulty on this event with three major release moves. However, she doesn't have quite as clean a routine as Fondi, and throughout the competition, the judges seem to be giving the best marks to execution and form, more so than the big tricks, which is really important for the safety and direction of this sport. And that was a fabulous routine, and it's going to score very well, but at this level, the judges are going to look at these exercises as if they're under a microscope. Kathy, as you mentioned, the judges are going to be very picky. Notice when she catches this release move, notice her legs flex just a little bit. That minor knee bend takes away from the total impression of the exercise. And really, at this level, it's the little things that make the difference. Olga's mark short of perfect, 9.975, but good enough to move her into second place.